Congratulations. Well done. A brilliant drive, um, an exciting start and a dramatic finish. Well, let's, uh, let's go through the race chronologically in a moment. But first, your emotions to do this, most importantly of all, Jensen, in Japan. It's, uh, yeah, and I've, I've never seen my missus cry at Grand Prix before, so um, even when I've won a race. So it means a lot to her. It's her home Grand Prix. And it's, uh, yeah, when she cries, it's difficult for me not to. Mm. But um, I'm going to try and hold it together right now. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it does mean a lot. And it's not just Japan, it's, it's this circuit. This place is phenomenal, as you know, and you know, uh, it's, uh, and you know. <laughs> um, sorry, I got you confused then. Um, it's just Thanks. <laughs> the layout of this place and the history of this place. There's no room for error. And to win on a, a circuit that's really been Red Bull's ground over the last couple of years really does mean a lot. And uh, these guys have been flawless all weekend. They really have. And the pit stops were the best we've had all year. Everything just went to plan apart from obviously the start. And, you know, look at this. How often do you have a grandstand full of people after the Grand Prix, like two hours after the Grand Prix? You know, they're amazing. So, Absolutely amazing. Jensen, we've been talking about your standing in the sport. Martin had just mentioned you're probably held in higher esteem now than when you won the World Championship. It seems that you're getting better and better. How, how are you managing to do that, having been in the sport for, what, 11 years now? Yeah, I'm one of the oldies now, so um, I don't know. And uh, it's... Is it the comfort within McLaren? Do you, is it you really feel supported? Is that something well, I, different to... I think the winning past? the championship in 09 really gave me confidence in my own ability. You know, I had a couple of really rocky years where the, the car's not quick, but you still question your ability. And uh, why can't I push this car further than anyone else? And why can't I try and... Fo you know, there are so many things going on in your head. And after you win the world championship, your confidence just goes through the roof. Not just your confidence in driving, but your confidence in setting up a car, your confidence in really pushing a team and pulling a team in the direction you want them to. And um, at the moment, yeah, I'm the happiest I've ever been. You know, this is, this is a great place for me right now. And uh, this team have been phenomenal over the last uh, 20 months of really making me feel at home. But there is still more to come. You know, we're, we're not at our peak yet. And uh, hopefully we'll see that over the next few races. And it'll be a good level for when we start 2012. Jensen, your call to the stewards when you were in the car just immediately after the start, surely he must get a penalty. Some words like that, you, uh, I recall. Um, were you trying to intimidate the stewards, or is that actually what you felt? No, people don't do that, do they? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> at that moment in time, you know, I felt that he kept coming across, and I felt that I was enough alongside for him to realize I'm there and, and not try, you know, not push me onto the grass. But, you know, when the emotions were running high at that point, I really felt that it was, it was wrong and he didn't need to do it. Well, let, uh, let's show oh, it to you, okay. Jensen. You can, you can talk us through it from, from your point of view and we'll see it from uh, the wide shot and from various 